Please permit me to start this recipe with this story. You are going to learn a whole lot of lesson from this story. And you are going to also know that life indeed is a spiritual. And spiritual, you see, control the physical. Whatever that you see happening in this planet Earth, as we are just seeing it, has already been concluded, has already been happened, or have already been manufactured in the spiritual realm. Now, she came to me and said, Promise I am a medical doctor. I schooled in my country. I graduated with the best grade. I moved down to the UK. I did my master's. I did everything. And I came out amazingly. I moved down to China. And I did my this, this, that. And my result was excellent. Now, from the school where I graduated in China, there is these people that are came all the way from Canada. They want to employ people under medical care, under medical line, with the best grade to their country. Everything has to be done for them with a well-paying salary and well-comfortable life. Now, something happened. I started looking for my CVs. I started looking for my documents. Every other person has traveled. They have presented all their CVs, all their results and all that, but mine was missing. Now I've sent down to my country. My people have searched everywhere. They could not find it. I went back to the school I graduated. I begged them. They searched everywhere and they could not see it. Yes, for me to get into the Canada or for me to achieve this, I need this particular result. Now, where is this result? I know that I kept this result very safe at this particular spot that I am telling you, but now that result is nowhere to be found. This was a story, or this is a story of a sister to me recently. Now, what happened? Do you know that letter, the said document, the same result that has been looking for for more than four months, according to her, was found at the same point where everyone has searched, at the same point where everyone has went, at the same point where she said she dropped that document. That is exactly the spot where the document was found. Now, what is your take on this? This is to show you that indeed spiritual control the physical. Anything that related to your life, to your future, you need to be sensitive, you need to be prayerful. If you know how to pray, my dear, keep praying. Because there are some enemies that never want you to succeed. Knowing that this will turn the situation of your family for good, they have to stop it. It's a spiritual manipulation. You go to the same spot, you look for it, you did not see it. Now, how come the same said result that everyone had been searching for for good four months was found at the same spot after this assignment. Do you want to know that assignment? Do you want to do what, what she did? It's very, very simple thing. Thing that you cannot cost you anything. And I want to let you know that nature is a blessing to us. God created everything for us to benefit from it. Minus nothing. Whatever that you eat, whatever that you make use of, can as well solve your problems when it comes to your spiritual life. Now, what do you do? Do you see this item in my hand? This thing is called alligator pepper. It's called ocho oji. So I don't know what you are calling it. If you know what you are calling it in your own country or dialect, please kindly share that with us in the comment section to help every other person. Do you see this simple, this small item in my hand called alligator pepper? It works very well. It works miraculously. This thing is natural. It's a blessing to God. For you and I to benefit. It's never a diabolic, it's never fetish. These things are you can as well open an alligator paper and take a seed from it and eat. And alligator paper, you see, has a lot of health benefit when it comes to the health benefit. You can as well use it as a breastfeeding mommy in so many ways. I will share that with you in my next video. But today I am practically sharing with you how to use this alligator paper in areas of your life. What is that thing that you are finding difficult? What is that thing that, what is that journey of life you are finding difficult? And you notice that this thing is not normal. This thing, the hands of enemies is involved. There is somebody or somewhere manipulating me from not getting this. You are schooling, you are into school, you will read when you get to the time for you to write an exam. Immediately you enter the hall. Immediately you enter into the exam. 
you've forgotten everything that you read. You could not remember anything. This makes you to remain at a spot. Are you the type of person that you are laboring without achieving anything? Are you the type of person that you have people around you that are supposed to pull you up, yet nobody is looking at you? What is that situation that you are into? Are you the type of person you are sick, spiritual, physical sickness, you've taken all manner of medications, yet the sickness refused to go? Now, do this assignment for me with this alligator paper. And I assure you, within a short time, you will come back to testify. Alligator paper is said to be a spirit and it does not embark on a shameful journey. And let me tell you, that anybody that must use alligator paper for any spiritual use must be a person that has a clean hand. What I mean by clean hand, you must be a person that always has a free mind before other people. You don't bite biting somebody. You don't gossip anybody. You don't try to stop people's progress. You are not bewitching anybody. You are not going from one place to the other to stop somebody's progress. You are not the type of person that are killing, taking lives that you did not create. Now, when somebody stood or when somebody stand to do this for you, my dear, use this and crush this person down. Of course. Now, do this. How do you use an alligator paper? I'm going to be sharing with you. You can start doing this thing once in a while. There are so many ways by which you use alligator paper, either to bless yourself, either for back to sender, or so many of them. But whichever way it is, do this assignment for me and congratulations in advance. Now, this is what you need to do. Go and get your alligator paper. As small as this, it's not that expensive. Go and get it. Hmm? When you get this alligator paper, do this particular one that I'm, I'm about to share with you now. I promise to come back and share so many ways, other ways you can use it. Now, in the morning, if you wake up in the morning, before you go out, before you go out, you are traveling. There is a place you are going. Hmm? You are traveling to a place that you don't know people coming there. You don't know their mindset. You don't know how genuine they are and all that. You are going to your business. Even if not that, you can do it once in a while. When you wake up in the morning, take alligator paper, take seven seeds from here once you've opened it you can take as many you can keep it it has many seeds inside hmm? once you open it you can keep using it until when it's finished now count seven pieces in the morning before you go out hold it in your hand and pray say god this is item this is natural creature from you you created everything and said that is for my own benefit i am using this alligator paper as a point of contact this morning as i go out today Anybody that would think evil against me, before my arrival, alligator paper is a spirit and never embark on a shameful journey. Because I never think evil against this person, because I never wish this person bad, because I never thought any evil thing against this person, whatever this person wish me, let it go back to them in million folds. Anywhere that I'm going to step today that will end my life, may my feet never take me to that path. As I go out today, I shall be blessed. Every good things that are attached today will locate me. As I go to my business premises today, as I go to my shop, as I go to this particular place, I shall be blessed. Men and women will bless me. Known and unknown people will bless me. Wherever that I step on, I will connect with good people. I will connect with people that will bring glory of God in my life. Pray, bless yourself. Counsel things that you don't want to experience on that day. Use it and bless for your children. Begin to call your children one after the other. Wherever you are, you shall see good. I am using that these alligator people as a point of contact. Alligator people does not embark on a cheerful journey. That means anybody that remembers you for good is going to return back to sender. It's not going to work. You're not going to be a victim of circumstances. Wherever that I'm going today, that is texted of blood. May my flesh, may my body, may my feet never take me to that path. Mention the name of your children. Mention the name of your loved ones. Pray. Say all the things that you want. Any of my belongings that have been hidden spiritually, let it be released. As long as I'm not holding anybody's own, as far as I am not hidden anybody's own, anybody that are hiding whatever that belongs to me, let that person never have peace until he releases it. If there is a particular thing that you want, maybe you have a specific need, begin to pray according to what's that part. You that is a student that is not doing well, and you know, not when you are not reading, not when you are not putting effort, but you, you know that quite, you are putting so much effort, but that effort is not bringing a positive result. Pray. Say any way that are blocking my ways for me not to graduate, for me not to, you know, achieve this success. Let this alligator paper go before me. You are praying using it as a point of contact, connecting to God. God created all of them. 
after done praying, hold it in your hands and pray. After praying, put it in your mouth and chew it. After chewing it, spit small, like spit in your front and said your way as you go to the front today, that this way is open for you, for only positive things. Spit other one to your left side. Spit like this, your front, your right, your left, and your back. The four corners of the earth. Wherever your feet is going to be step, wherever your feet is going to step today, you shall receive blessing and not evil. Right? Do this prayer for me and move on your life. If you are traveling, like I said, do it. If you are going for a particular um, appointment, use it and pray. Say that as you go there, you will receive that thing that you are going for. That nothing shall hinder you from connecting to these blessings. Do it. Please, I wait your testimony in the comment section. Don't joke with this assignment. It looks very simple. But after doing it, you are definitely coming back to this video. And say, promise, help me to thank God. For this long-awaiting testimony has already manifested. Congratulations in advance. And see you in my next video. Kindly help me by sharing this video. Right? To get a lot of people. Like it massively. Mm -hmm. Ask question if you have any in the comment section, but I know I detail this video very well. But if you have any question, kindly ask and God bless you. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.